Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's third or fourth video. Uh, we're going to have a look at whether it's 10 to 14 days for today's uh, third or fourth video. So day 10 will take us to the 8th of July and we'll be able to extend out beyond that. We have said GFS ECM ensembles, maybe one to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video. For the next four weeks, that gets into the latter stages of July. And I'll get on about for you in a moment. Just say that first video today was our 6 UK weather forecast. And uh, we've also released the first seasonal, seasonal model roundup for autumn 2025. And if that wasn't enough, there's been a channel member exclusive as well, which is the ECM at WF42 Day for UK ID exclusive for channel members. So check out all of today's videos and content. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, for dear Matt. Can I say hello and happy birthday to Ash? Hello, Ash, who I know. He's celebrating his 50th birthday. He's going to be having a 50th birthday party tonight. Playing Magic Water on tap, I think, at uh, Ashes tonight. So, uh, Ashes friend Martin, MK1973, asked me to say hello and happy birthday to uh, Ash. So, hello and happy birthday to you, my friend. Hope you're having a lovely birthday. I've got my 50th coming up in a couple of years. But at the moment, I'm clinging on to the wreckage of the four, of my 40s. <laughs> and when I get to 50, I'll probably just spend the day with the duvet over my head and crying. But no, happy birthday. You don't want to hear about my woes. Happy birthday, Ash. And you enjoy your uh, 50th, my friend. That's absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. Um, Martin, for letting me know about that. And thank you so much. To, uh, well, not thank you so much, but happy birthday to Ash. Well done, my friend. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, okay, so let's start off with the latest web blow map. Thank you so much. Let's start off with the latest web blow map from earthnoschool.net showing uh, that uh, high pressure is building up from uh, the south today. Plenty of low pressure towards Iceland, but the Azores high is the driving factor now building up from the south. It's going to be bringing a lot of hot air up from southern climes to many parts of Europe in the next few days. For us, the heat wave is going to be peaking, I think, on Monday. Although there is a new trend within model output today. And we'll discuss it in a moment when, when we go through the chart data. But there is a new trend to like keep heat very, very close to the far southeast. And it may never actually cool down until the end of the week now in the extreme southeast. But uh, we're going to go through chart data in a moment. It could all just uh, develop into like a really wet fungi pattern later on in the week. Lots of interesting charts coming up in a couple of minutes. Uh, central in temperature is now sitting at 16.4. That is 2.3 degrees above the 61 to 1990 average. That's for visual to the 26th of June. These are the GFS operator temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Looking at Wargrave today, which I think is home to our uh, celebrating 50th, his 50th birthday, Ash. Ash is celebrating 50th birthday at Wargrave, I think, today, or in that area, anyway. So, uh, starting off above average course, with the upper air temperature at the moment, they're going to be uh, lifting up further, peaking here around Monday. Now, this is a new trend. So, you'll notice about the ensemble, ensemble mean, which is the white line, does start to come down those days above average, but the red line through to the second half of the week. But notice the thick green line, which is the GFS operation run, stays hot and actually peaks towards the uh, end of next week at about uh, 20 degrees at 850 HPA. So the GFS midnight operation run extending out the heat wave, uh, in the south anyway, for uh, much of next week. And it's not until like the end of next week that we finally see those upper air temperatures coming down. And then we're taking off again actually into the second week of, uh, of July. Precipitation-wise, a lot of dry weather to come 
until around the uh, middle of that stage of next week, then possibly Tony Moore and Seto, and that could be thundery stuff spawned by the heat and humidity, you know, trying to push back northwards again and uh, engaging in cooler air heading in from the Atlantic. So all sorts of fun and games possible there around Wednesday to Friday. After that, into a second uh, week of month and up to mid-month, the trend is a drying one. Temperature normally is next five days up to the middle of next week to be out substantially above average, 10 to 14 day, to a little bit above average but coming down. Um, precipitation normally is for the next seven days to the end of next week, generally drier than normal, 8 to 14 day, again a little bit drier than average. Right, we better start going through the chart data there. Lots of very interesting charts today. So, Mr. Avalanche's UK Met Euro is looking for midnight on Tuesday. So, this is when the cooler air was supposed to start pushing through and for the north and west it does actually push through but you notice still looking very warm to hot in the southeastern corner and then for Wednesday and Thursday, this ridge building out to the northwest sort of brings the wind around to our release direction now there's a lot of hot air still sitting over the low countries and France through the middle part of next week. And that easily starts them to pull that hot air back in again uh, from the east. But this time quite volatile with a trough of low pressure, fungi low, sitting over France. And that tries to push northwards. So perhaps turning hotter again later next week if it ever cools down in the south. Uh, but also potentially turning a bit volatile. Icon shows it all up a little bit better. So that's Wednesday next week. Still a lot of heat and humidity sitting just to our southeast. And then through Thursday, Wednesday to Thursday, wind begins to shift around to our east direction. There's the upper air temperature. So plus 15 cells ice berm is still there in the southeast corner. Plus 20 cells ice berm to across northern France and the low countries as well. And the upshot of this contrast in the temperature. So, of course, we've got the cooler air coming in uh, from the north, from the North Atlantic, and they've got all of this heat and humidity sitting just to our east and south. And so the upshot then is to develop this area of low pressure. That could bring thunderstorms, it could bring torrential rain uh, as well, or it could just bring wet conditions over on the continent. We say mainly dry. A lot of uncertainty now for the second half next week. Notice by next Friday, the heat is being shoved away in towards Germany and Poland, and the cooler air then starting, starting to head through even into the far south and southeast. Very interesting pattern setting up through the uh, second half next week there with ICOM. And then we've got the KMA uh, looking like this. So oh, a little bit more simple with the KMA. We just push that cooler air through early uh, next week. Then a ridge building behind it, main dry. Most of the heat and humidity is away from us. And then we go into like a flat westerly pattern. So pretty straightforward. Uh, and more the trend we had yesterday still with the KMA. What about GFS? Well, we know from the ensemble graph that this is going to bring the heat back later next week into south again. So this is next Tuesday. We've got hot upper air temperatures still across much of central, southern, southeastern England. We gradually start to ease in towards the continent through Wednesday, but then Thursday, look at this, fungi low around Biscay, pushing northwards through France, beginning to pull that heat back again, plus 20 cells iceberg returning into southern southeastern England, but the upshot is to spawn this very thundery looking area of low pressure through the second half of next week. So the heat and the humidity comes back, but also that then, and uh, it starts to spawn like either thunderstorms, maybe even more uh, longer spells of torrential rain. For the whole lot trundles away into the North Sea by next weekend, and cooler air starts to push through uh, from the north and the west. So by the time you get through to Sunday 6th of July, we've got high pressure out to west, low pressure onto Denmark, and winds are coming in from a generally northerly direction, with high pressure ridging up from the southwest from uh, day 10. 
returning us to drier, warmer, potentially hotter weather again for the second week of uh, July there. What about the 6Z in comparison? Well, again, we've got this thundery looking low pushing back northwards through the middle and second half next week, bringing the heat back northwards where it's. So, does the heat ever really get out from the south and south east? But it pushes back northwards again later next week. That's open to question. But by the end of next week, that thundery low is moving off into the North Sea and we bring down cooler air across the whole country then from uh, the North Atlantic. Heading up towards days 9 and 10, well, flatter and more westerly, so a little bit more changeable uh, with the 6 uh, with uh, high pressure kind of ridging uh, away to the north. So Scandinavian high getting going there by trying to get going by the middle of July. If you're enjoying the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Worthies and get them to subscribe too. I'll show you everyone for doing that. About 50 subscribers will get us to uh, 20.5k. So you could give us a sub. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much everyone. GM pushing that uh, cool air. Through the country, Tuesday to Wednesday. By Thursday, it looks like we're all into a fresher run of uh, northeasterly winds then. Still under a ridge, though, so that will keep it mostly dry and potentially warm, very warm, into next weekend. No thundery low, you'll notice with the gem, so that's different. And then around day 9, 10, we start to open the door to the Atlantic, so some uh, uh, showery rain heading in from the west with cooler temperatures too. Of every ECM rounds it all off. Again, it looks like the heat is not getting out from the southeast through the middle part of next week. Plus 20 sales ice from it is only on the other side of the channel. Midnight next Wednesday, plus 15 sales ice firm covering much of England and Wales. By next Thursday, though, that cooler air is starting to descend across the country as the heat gets shoved away to the low countries and Germany. So we don't generate that big thundery development such as we're seeing on the GFS, for example. More mayhem, basically, today for next week. <laughs> um, and then beyond that, well, the ECM turns cooler and more showery up towards day 10 with uh, high pressure generally pulling out into the Atlantic. So more of a northwesterly flow, slightly cooler and more showery up to the 13th of June. These are the options on the table in the ECM ensembles today for day 10. A lot of dry weather to come over the next few days. What rain there is, mainly for Scotland and also for Ireland. England Wales mostly dry. Thundery stuff there uh, through the early part of uh, next week. So that's Tuesday to Wednesday with some uh, heavy rain, possibly thunderstorms across parts of England and Wales. Could be significantly more intense than that, of course. But GFS or Icon are right. Uh, anyway, we end up going into like a showery westerly, northwesterly flow with uh, bursts of rain coming in from off Atlantic in a cooler, fresher air mass. This was the option on the table within the ECM ensembles last night for day 10, getting us to the 7th of July. So uh, 51 out of 50 members of the ECM ensembles, all of them with low pressure rate to the north, northeast, high pressure to west, southwest winds coming in from a west, northwesterly direction. And then until we time means were the options that we have, which gets to the 12th, oh, got us to the 12th of July. 23 members of the ECM ensembles with trough right over Top country 15 with high pressure south, low pressure to the north, flat and westerly, and 13 uh, with high pressure ridging from the Azores, Scandinavia. That obviously is going to be the driest, warmest, hottest of the weather patterns. That's the coolest, most unsettled, and for the majority of the of course. And this is somewhere in betwixt, in between. CFS B2 finally, and then we're done. These are 500 millibar height volumes, and they're broken down into weekly periods. The first week period will take us from the 28th of June to the 4th of July. But next week we'll see high pressure over and to the east of the country. Low pressure will be away to the north. And the jet stream going to be up there somewhere. So dry and hot. Week 2 will be the 5th to the 11th of July. High pressure more to the west southwest west end. Trough of low in Scandinavia. Winds coming in from west to north west direction. Mainly dry but cooler and fresher. Week 3 will be the 12th to the 18th of July. With high pressure way to the north west. So, um, well, that's going to be bring the wind in from like an east northeasterly direction. 
probably quite cool and showery. Um, but of course, if wind was to turn more east south easterly, then it would be a lot hotter. And then uh, week four, this is the 19th, 25th of July, high pressure event building through the north and west of Europe. That brings us back to summer, turning dry and uh, drier and hotter with that one. We'll see. That's a long way off. Let's get to next week sorted out. I mean, got uncertainty from as early as about Tuesday, Wednesday, to be honest. Um, oh, <laughs> we're going to have to wait and see how it all plays out and we'll keep you posted at Gals Web. Of course, right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. And show to everyone for DM out. Drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about Gals Web. Get to subscribe too. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Thanks so much. I love it. Oh, we've got blurb webcam. Hang on. I love it. Thanks so much. There we go. That's better. Right, we'll end it there. So, uh, tomorrow, we're going to... What's he doing? What's he doing? Tomorrow, we're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We've got Gas Weather's Sunday Roundup coming up for uh, June. And there'll be a 10 to 14 day, of course. So, we'll keep you updated. And uh, keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, though, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Bye for now.